Hi everyone, this is Deb Campus, and here I am again with another video about my PCT 2020, otherwise my Pacific Crest Trail through hike for 2020. Uh, it's cold, today is cold and windy. So today I want to show you guys my clothing, my hiking clothing that I'll be wearing to, um, to start my hike. And I will also be showing you my sleeping clothing and my warmer layer, um, which is just a jacket. All right. So, oh, one more thing. We are, I believe we are about 10. Today is the 10, the 20. So we're nine days away from permit day. <laughs> Crossing fingers, I hope I can get the day that I'm looking for, I'm, I'm aiming for. I don't have actually a specific day. But I do have a range of a couple of weeks that I could start any day in that week. Alright, so let's get started. And this should be a quick video. So here we are with all my clothing for the Pacific Crest Trail next year. Let's start right here with the smaller stuff. So for the desert, I will be wearing um, a sun hat. <laughs> I guess you can call my clothes 50 shades of gray. <laughs> They're all gray. But anyways, <laughs> um, so this one is the one that has this soft part in the back is not a hard brim in the back because I am short and the brim in the back always it's always hitting my backpack all the time so I decided to go with this soft one and it also protects my neck and my ears from the sun and it's adjustable um, most of the stuff I got it at Amazon um, so not non specific brand or anything um, this is going to be my bandana. So this is going to work as um, to hold my hair um, during the day. At night it can just work as a beanie to cover my head in not so cold night. Um, and it also it warms up my face. It can protect my, my face and my neck in the mornings when I start hiking. Okay, so here are my shoes. I'm gonna start with um, my favorite shoes that I'm so used to, uh, the Merrill Moabs 2. These are very lightweight. Actually, they weigh as much as the Ultras that everybody wears. Um, they have the same weight, they're very lightweight. Uh, they're very breathable, but they're very strong. They're made for hiking, so they have the Vibram soles. Um, I'm going to start, and then I have the shock lace, which makes your life so much easier when you're hiking. So, so they're made of shock cords. And inside, I have Dr. Schul's um, insoles. Um, I'm still testing soles, so I'm not 100% of what insole I'm going to start. I want the, the best one that I can get. Uh, so I'll see. Uh, I know people talk about the super feet, but they're super expensive. Uh, they're almost $50, so I'm not sure if I want to spend that kind of money on insoles. I know they're important, but I know that there are insoles out there that are not that expensive and do the same job. Okay, so right here I have two types of socks because for the, for the desert, I'm going to be wearing thin socks, hiking socks. Um, they work better for me um, with my style of hiking. And for the Sierras and in Washington, when it starts getting colder, I will be wearing this heavy, uh, not heavy, but thicker socks. They are just copper fit socks and they're very good for hiking. Been hiking these for years. Uh, all I can say is when it comes to clothing, stick to what you know if you're used to something that you know it works for you I think is the best thing 
because I don't think the Pacific Crest Trail is a place for you to start trying new things. You should always use what you already know that works for you. And if not, you should definitely buy it and try it. Make sure that you, what you're taking works. This is going to be a, um, um, what do you call, a tank top that I'm going to be wearing underneath my shirt. And I just like hiking in tank tops underneath. Just in case I get hot, I can take it off, I can take off the top layer. Um, also, it absorbs the my sweat in a, I don't know, I just feel like it distributes my, you know, sweating better. And this one is uh, polyester. This is like a, a Walmart shirt. But it's polyester and spandex. Everything here is polyester or polyester and spandex or nylon. Nothing is cotton. So this is going to be my shirt. My hiking shirt. Um, I actually had a Columbia, uh, which I know everybody loves it, but to be honest, it's too much fabric for me. Uh, I can see myself going nuts over getting um, my backpack getting caught up on that. My, it's just too much fabric. I just like something simpler like that. These are my pants. No brand. Just got it at Amazon very thin um, they dry really fast so I believe these are nylon and spandex um, sorry they're dirty but they're my hiking pants that I already hike in them I love these big pockets it has side pockets as you can see right here it has big pockets on the side of each leg I can fit my phone here or whatever I need and in the back um, has another back pocket zipper pocket it has adjustable belt and I think this is really important uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna last the entire hike but as you start losing weight you can adjust the the waist of your pants with a belt and another thing that I like a lot it's it's a zip off so for a very hot day if I want to hike in shorts I can just unzip the bottom and that's it so these pants are very very awesome I love them I've been using this for the last I don't know two years but look they're new and I hike a lot in them all right so right here this is gonna be my warm layer this is a, what I'm gonna be I chose to have a synthetic warm layer not I'm not taking a down puffy because I want something that I can also wear when I'm hiking and not worry about getting it wet or getting it getting my sweat on it so I chose this one this one was, was my most expensive buy is the Enlighten equipment apex torrid jacket for women uh, this is a medium and it fits me perfect I love it um, even for me that I have you know I have more on the upper side of my body or chest so it's still the the fit is perfect and I'm 5'4 so 165 pounds I guess I am um, fits perfect just so you need some reference this is a 7d nylon inside and outside I have no problems with snagging the zippers I've been wearing this for a while now because every time it's cold I just wear it around town or when I go to work very very warm because it has very few baffles uh, it holds the heat inside and it's seven ounces only so yeah it was worth the investment uh, as long as it lasts me for my hike it'll it's already done what it was supposed to do all right sorry all the leaves this so first of all my plan for the desert when when it comes to sleeping clothes was actually not to have any sleeping clothes I was just gonna clean myself every night so I don't get my sleeping bag dirty and um, either if it's cold just put my hiking clothes back on or just sleep without you know anything 
but um, I decided to get these. These, um, okay, so when I was a kid, my mom would make us wear to go to church uh, nylon th tights. And this is what this one is. This one is 60 denier, and it's very warm. This is what women wear underneath their clothing in the winter, and it is warm. Um, it's a nylon, and I found this one on Amazon, the sun, which is um, also the same material as my my nylon tight, and it says to be good up to 40, down to 40 degrees. So I don't mind because if it gets colder than that, I have my puffies to put on, and that's it. So this is gonna be for a desert now. I'll just put it right here. I'm gonna bring these right here because the sun is getting very annoying. Um, this is my other base layer that I'll be wearing. I'm gonna get it from my gearbox, from my bounce box, in um, for the Sierras in Kennedy Meadows. So this is a very lightweight um, base layer. I. <laughs> Three ounces and four ounces all together they are no I'm sorry I know that together they make eight ounces which is half a pound which is very lightweight compared to the other base layers that I had before so this one has the the fleece inside if you can see um I think it's the brand the brand is Tesla? I'm not sure. I found it on Amazon too, so this is a great buy and very warm. So this is going to be for my uh, gear in the Sierra Mountains and beginning in Northern Oregon on. I will also trade again my light base layers to that one. Oh, I may also trade it for that one trade for that one for the Jacinta Mountain. So I'm going to start with those base, uh, light uh, nylon layers and uh, when I get to Idle Wild, which I have to change some gear in Idle Wild, I will get that one. Cross the entire Idle Wild to Wrightwood, Baden Powell. When I get out of Baden Powell towards Agua Dolce, I will drop these and just get my my very lightweight. By the way, these right here are just one and a half ounce each. <laughs> Pretty cool. And they have bigger size for the pants. I believe men can also wear. And last but not least, my 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 gloves liners. Um, these are going to be just for um, colder weather. So also I'm going to be grabbing along with these uh, base layers. I'm going to also grab the glove liners. Um, there's less than an ounce. Um, very, it was very cheap. Can't remember. But uh, they're pretty good, pretty warm. Not 100% warm. Not glove liner will be, you need to wear something on top of those. But you know what? Um, it's fine. It'll work for me. So that is it. These are my hiking and camp clothing for the Pacific Crest Trail. So that's it. This is all my clothing and I just try to keep it very simple. Um, clothing I think is one of the items that last the least uh, um, in length. Like I don't think they all last the entire um, trail. I believe, I hope that my jacket will last the entire trail. So you just have to be careful with your gear. And other than that, I guess that's it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If it's your first time here in the channel, I would like to invite you to follow my, to subscribe to follow my through hike next year. And all the other videos that I put about me and my kids and our hiking and backpacking things. Um, like I said, this is, uh, next week is permit week. So cross fingers for everybody. Hope everybody gets the dates that they want. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye. Peace.